What is up guys, welcome to another video and today we're gonna go ahead and talk unicorn cars because unicorn cars are back in Horizon 4 in a very big way. So for those that don't know, unicorn cars have been a thing from Forza for a very long time now. These are cars that are very, very exclusive, only, they're only uh, actually given in very, very small quantities. So obviously if you see people in these unicorn cars, it's like, oh shit. They have that car. These cars can range from, you know, like in our case, what we're going to be talking about today, this RWB Porsche to golf. There's like, quite a few unicorn cars in this game, and we're going to talk about that in this video. If you want to see more of these, because I actually do have quite a few, we can go ahead and make more videos on this. But for today, we're going to focus on this RWB Porsche. So as you guys may already know, you know, um, uh, coming up to launch, this car was shown a lot in a lot of the preview images, it was shown a lot in a lot of the trailers and stuff, but if we go over to the auto show, you'll notice that you, it's actually not in the Hoonigan section. As you can see, we have, you know, the Jim Carner cars, what the Twerk Stallion, all the DLC cars, etc, etc, but we don't actually have the RWB Porsche. However, if we go over to my actual garage, we can see Hoonigan here, and it's right there. That's the RWB Porsche that I was talking about that was in all the promo images. And this is the first unicorn car we're going to go ahead and talk about on the channel. Unicorn, unicorn, hornicorn, ha! Got him! So this is the first one I want to talk about. This is the RWB Porsche Hoonigan Edition Turbo. <laughs> Fuck, I kind of fucked that up really, didn't I? Now, as you can see, I've actually put a bit of a different livery on this. If we go into Forza Vista, I've got the kind of Apple livery. Some of you guys might already recognize this car. This is like an actual show car in real life, but obviously it comes normally with the white and the red rims and stuff. Even the interior, as you can see, is uh, upgraded. So you've got the Recaro bucket seats, and then you've even got like a custom Momo steering wheel and stuff. It's an it's the actual Hoonigan car. It's not just having a normal, you know, uh, Porsche and then putting an RWB kit on. This is like an actual car. And there's a very specific way to unlock this car. I'm pretty sure some of you might be aware, but just in case you're not, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through that. So this car is actually unlocked by street racing. You have to do a lot of street racing in this game. I believe you have to be level 17 in street racing, I want to say. I actually did this like off camera, so I'm going to show you guys the footage here. You can obviously see I was doing the marathon race. Took a very long time, but here it is. So after a few hours of grinding, I finally managed to get to the certain level that you need to get to to unlock this RWB Porsche. Once you do enough street races and you're obviously progressing up in that thread, you will get the car uh, and it goes straight into your garage. I think it might have been level 16. I think it was level 16 street racing you need to get to and then the car is given to you. Now this car is really, really rare. I can't show you for some reason because I think Xbox Live's down or my internet's down as you can see by all of the grey tabs. But last time I checked, there was like two of these cars on the marketplace. I've seen people really struggling to even get this car on the marketplace sometimes there's actually been no cars on the marketplace uh, or like well no, no none of these cars on the marketplace and it's one of those things it's not actually really worth selling you can't buy this car in the auction house the only way you can get this car is through the street racing progression and to get to level 16 it, honestly it's not that easy that's a lot of grinding so i think the marathon if you do that like once it gets you like three quarters of the way through progression so to put that in perspective uh level 16 street racing you'd have to do the marathon about probably about 20 odd times and the marathon's a 10 minute race so you do the maths that's, that's a long time it's a few it's at least a few hours of grinding to get this car and it's one of those things no one else is going to have this car and it handles really well compared to the other 911s as I'm not proving. So it's one of those things, I wouldn't sell this, and I'm gonna continue to ramble for a bit longer because there's a bit more like complexity to this than you probably don't realize. So you can actually sell this car on the auction house, but unless you've actually used the auction house a lot, you can actually only sell it for double what the car is worth. So now for this to make sense, I'm gonna quickly show you what I mean. So as we can see here, if I go into my cars, we can see that this car has a value of 160K, which means I can only sell this car for double that amount. So that means that on the auction, house I can only sell this for 320k now keep in mind every single player only gets one of these cars I wouldn't say this is really worth selling it for 320k because as you can see by my current bank account it's not really much to sell it for. Now, the reason why I'm explaining this is because there is a loophole to how you can actually sell this for 20 plus million. If we go into my Horizon Life, you can see that I'm a level three tuner. I don't know what specific level it is, but if you get to a high enough level, you can actually place this on the auction house for as much as you want, which means you could sell it for 20 million plus. And there's actual Facebook groups where this is a thing. In certain Facebook groups, people are hunting for these unicorn cars and they're like listing them for 
25 plus million. These guys are master tuners and master painters. And these guys are looking for these cars. So if you can find the right person, chances are you could probably sell this for a lot more if you wanted to. For me though, I think I'm going to keep it because I really, really do like this car. And I hope I actually kind of enlightened you on a few things. I didn't know any of this was even a thing until Jay and my friend called Rain actually talked to me about this the other day. Uh, there's a few cars which you wouldn't expect it, but trust me, they are going for a lot of money. So if you do happen to get, say, I don't know, a, a random car in a wheel spin and you've just noticed there's no cars of, the, of that version on the auction house, don't sell it. Do a bit of research. Now, as for this car specifically, it's really fucking good. So I have it maxed out to the top of S1. You can go further, but I, I kind of wanted to keep the stock uh, the stock motor and all that kind of stuff. And it's really, really good. Now, obviously, it's winter now, so I can't really fucking show you, like, how good this actually is. Because it is still rear-wheel drive. But it's really fun to drive. As you can see, like, the interior, you got the, the wheel, like I was mentioning earlier. It's, it's just a good time, to be honest. There's a lot more unicorn cars in this game that I have not talked about. Uh, and I, like I said, I have a few of those on the account. So if you want me to make a few more videos talking talking about these cars and maybe getting them into some online races that is something which we can definitely do on the channel but today I kind of wanted to explain everything a bit more instead of like making a quick cut commentary I'm definitely going to be doing quick cut going to I can't speak I'm definitely going to be doing some quick cut commentaries with this car because like I said it's a unicorn car not many people have it yet uh, and it's one of those things everyone can get this specific car not a lot of the unicorn cars people can actually get it's a lot, very very down to look but this is one that everyone can actually get but not many people do just because it does take a while to grind to get the car specifically the best way I can explain or the best way I can suggest getting this car is just to go ahead and grind the marathon over and over again and eventually you're bound to unlock this lord knows what there is you know even in the higher levels i don't know what the max rank is for like the road racing and the off-road events but lord knows there might be a unicorn car at level 100 and we don't know yet and this is something which I'm going to be looking out for because I'm still playing this game very, very hard. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go ahead and hit the like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys have been awesome. Stay safe and peace.